Whether you're camping, hiking, or traveling, keeping your gear lean is key. But sometimes you just want to enjoy some of the comforts of home. Now for me, that's a hot, fresh espresso every morning. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and when I heard about the Wakako Nanopresso, I knew I had to give it a try. It's essentially a small handheld espresso press. You put boiling water in the reservoir and use the small handheld pump to create your own shot of espresso. I recently had a chance to test it out over a few weeks, and this is what I found. The Nanopresso weighs less than a pound and is only about six inches long. It's ultra compact and perfectly portable. The Nanopresso has several parts, which you'll want to get to know before the first time you use it. Let's take a look here. So you've got the cup in the base, which holds some of your accessories. So you've got your little measuring cup for the coffee grounds, which also doubles as a tamper handily. There's also this little cleaning brush here. The cup comes in two parts. The yellow part here is your drinking cup. This is your water reservoir. In the top here, you have, this is where your coffee goes. There's a filter basket. And then this is the porta filter here, which removes from the top. And then this is the pump base, which you can extend out, and that's how you'll make your espresso. To use your Nanopresso, you'll want to take everything apart and start by filling the filter basket with appropriately ground espresso beans. You'll also need some boiling water, so whether you start some in the microwave, get it from your water cooler or hot water tap, or put a kettle on, you'll want to get that going. Once you've used the measuring cup to measure out just the right amount of coffee, you can use the base of it to tamp your coffee down a little bit. Once that's done, you want to clean off any excess grounds from the edges and then place it into the porta filter. The porta filter will screw into the pump base. Once you've got everything locked in tight, just insert it onto the top and screw it in. Get those threads lined up just right. With your boiling water ready, you'll fill the cup. Now there's a little subtle line in there. That's where you're filling it up to. Set that aside and you're going to put the water reservoir into what's technically the bottom of the press, but it's about to become the top really soon. With the Nanopresso turned upside down, you'll use that small pump arm on the side to start priming the espresso machine. Once some liquid starts to come out, you'll know you're on the right track. Now keep pumping it until no more liquid comes out. This will get a little bit harder depending on where you're at in the extraction stage and how fine of a grind of coffee you're using. But basically continue that pumping action until you have a full shot of espresso. I was suitably impressed with the crema quality in the Nano Presso. Now the crema is that layer of bubbles or foam that forms on top and I was really surprised at the quality of crema that I got with the Nano Presso. Another neat feature, you can use that little press arm on the side as an extra tamper if you don't have your little measuring cup with you. It's perfectly sized and very convenient. Now Nanopresso says the patented pumping system on this device makes it capable of reaching 18 bars of stable pressure during extraction, and that's comparable to what you might expect from commercial espresso machines at your local cafe. Overall, I found I got a pretty good shot using the Nanopresso. While getting that ultimate thick and creamy espresso that comes from pro machines is hard, Nanopresso does a good job. It might be a touch on the watery side for you coffee snobs, but in my experience, it's no more so than you'd get from machines like a Jura Impressa, a Handpresso, or a Mocha Pot. Cleaning the Nanopresso is pretty simple and straightforward. You're going to use this tiny little brush that comes with it to get rid of any stray grounds in and around the porta filter. Now, depending on how you feel about using soap on a coffee machine or some other cleansing product, you can, of course, clean it however you wish. At the same time, if you are on the go and in a bit of a rush, you can just give it a quick rinse and that's going to take care of it pretty well until next time. There's a lot to love about the Nanopresso. I love its small size and extraordinary portability. I also like the fun new colors that it comes in right now. Despite the multiple parts that come with it, it assembles and disassembles really easily and it's easy to figure out. If you're looking for something for your morning cup of espresso, whether you're in your RV, camping, hiking, or maybe traveling for business, having the Wacoco Nano Presso with you is going to be an excellent choice. I recommend it. If you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've got a full blog. Now you may be wondering how much it costs. The Nano Presso sells for about 65 US dollars from the company's website or places like Amazon. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next video, I'm at Erin L Y Y C.